Pancho Valley this morning. And this morning, the warmest temperatures we're going to be seeing are right now. We're seeing 60s for a lot of us. Some of us, like Sterling City, Azona, and Big Lake, 59, but not too bad. If you think this is chilly, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because we are going to see temperatures continue to drop because of a cold front that's coming through for your Veterans Day. We're going to see 45 by the afternoon, that plus a combination of strong winds. So that wind chill is something you want to keep an eye on for the rest of today and into tomorrow. Even as we go into 5 p.m., we do have a little bit of light rain chances, but the temperatures are starting to see those 30s. So plan accordingly. A lot of the rain chances, though, are going to be staying south, closer to I-10 as we go through the rest of our day. We could see one or two starting to pop up after that. Now, the thing is, we're going to have to keep an eye with the timing of that and the moisture because even though it is closer towards Mason and Junction and getting a little further out of our area, we could see some of that rain transition into some sleet. So we want to keep an eye out there for the rest of your Monday night and into your Tuesday. It will start to clear out, but it is going to be a cold, chilly one. The thing you want to take very good notice of is the wind advisory we have in effect from all the way this morning till Tuesday morning. What that means is a combination of cold temperatures plus winds. It's going to feel even colder than it actually is out there. We're going to see as we go into tonight, we'll see temperatures going to feeling into the 20s, even though they're going to be hitting those 30s by around 6 p.m. And then for Tuesday morning, going to be hitting some of those teens for us for your Tuesday morning commute. So add layers, definitely want to be precautious out there because it's going to be cold throughout the entire day with those strong winds into your Tuesday after having such a nice weekend that we had some 70s. But for today, starting out in those 60s and then cooling off into those 20s, we're seeing 23 for tonight. And then, like I said, we'll get slowly back into the normal temperatures after Tuesday with some 60s. But that's the thing is, is after having such a nice weekend of some 70s, 75 on Sunday, it's going to not be too fun to start our Monday off with cold temperatures and seeing them drop throughout the rest of the day.